Well, in my opinion, I think they're arguing both in some respects the same point, but also giving different opinion. It gives us the ability to understand two sides of an argument and also try to chip in on two cents because we'd also have a question and answer time, which is going to be great, I think. Well, so far, the, the talks and the two professors have been, uh, they have been actually really, really interesting to hear from a professional perspective of what's going on in the world and really get a gauge of how society's working at the moment. So it was good to kind of hear what they had to say and really engage with them and really take, take on board what they had to say. It was, you know, it was definitely good. The way in which the lecturers are talking about the subject is very good because they're not dumbing it down. So you feel like it's an academic lecture and they think that at least you're up to par with what's happening. The two professors are clearly very well educated. Their points are very strong. Their contrasts are really good, so it gives everyone in the room a good idea of what's happening. It gives them a clear argument about both sides, both arguments around the lecture and the debate. Um, we have two different professors with two different ideas about how the world is going to be um, due to the leaders that we have. So it's really interesting to have a different kind of intake of what they think and what they believe because they're very experienced in their fields. I think this is the first event I've been to where different people from like London in year 12 and year 13 can actually come and participate in a debate because I'm in like a situation where I've taken government and politics and I think being here and being at this debate discussion it kind of opens my opinions and like I can hear different people's views to different matters such as like Donald Trump and the US and the EU and Brexit. Uh, that is absolutely unparalleled in modern economic history. Uh, this is something that can't be waved away, an executive order can't do away with it. Uh, it was completely correct that huge tracks of the American economy. It seems to be the current chaos uh, in the world, and in particular the chaos caused uh, by the likes of Presidents Trump, Putin and Xi. And in many ways, I don't disagree with many of the things uh, that Stephen has said, but I think I do disagree that all of these problems that he's identified are going to lead to a future instability and potentially even greater chaos. Diplomacy taking a 180 degree turn with the West now portraying an incompetent approach to global politics. When you talk about up and coming economies such as the Indian economy, Nigeria, Brazil, stuff like that, what effect will they also play in this sort of free powerhouse? I think the university itself is amazing. The, the fact that it's got so many people from different places in the world, it's so ethnically diverse, that is something that's really attractive to me for a university because it gives you different points of view and different upbringings from around the world.